this is huge breaking news. Biden is now coming out and giving us an emergency urgent message that we need to be prepared for what's coming next. He's saying that, quote, things are going to get worse and this is only the start and it's not over, all right? He's saying it's going to get a lot worse. So you need to be prepared. They keep telling us that everything's fine, but then these messages come out saying that actually it's going to get a lot worse and even mainstream media is now coming out in coordination with what biden said and is warning us that it's going to get a lot a lot worse as well even fox and cnn both sides of the spectrum here are coming together on the same exact day and warning of this and now biden just came out a few hours ago and said this same message as well and has given us this warning that it's going to get worse. So we need to be prepared. Let's dive into what's happening here. You can see mainstream news is now coordinating that a collapse of the US dollar is going to happen any day now. All right, this these both of these segments came out on the same day and now Biden is even giving us an emergency warning as well too for our US dollar. We will get to that in just a second. But you can see here CNN and Fox come out in coordination saying a shift from the US dollar and saying that there's going to be a potential collapse in America from this US dollar transition that we are having. All right. So this was on CNN from Fareed Zakaria. He said, if the US dollar's global supremacy erodes, America will face a reckoning like none before. This came out on the same exact day that this Fox News segment, they are pushing this agenda. They've made the decision to collapse the banks, collapse the dollar and bring in a digital currency and in the meantime, we could have a global dig digital currency as well, right? The yuan for the Chinese is not a particularly stable reserve currency. They're building a brand new one called the BRICS currency that is going to take over the dollar. And Fox News is even pushing this as well. You can see here the shift from the US dollar. This was on Fox News on the same day that they were posting this on CNN. This is coordinated media and they are trying to now get us ready for what's coming next. And they're warning us and Biden's even warning us as well. I'll get to that in just a second. But you can see here, they're saying Russia turns to the Chinese yuan and Saudi Arabia could do the same. Right. And then they're saying that Saudi Arabia and Iran are joining the BRICS alliance with China and Russia. So we have all these countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. If you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you've already heard about this. But the fact that mainstream news is now telling us that this is what's coming next, coordinating on the same day and coordinating with Biden as well. This is a very bad sign. We also have French banks being raided. They want to shut down all the banks. They are coming for them. Even the big banks like JP Morgan, there's very big news on that of what's going on with their CEO. He's in big trouble. We will get to that in just a second. But five French banks also were raided just today as well, too. And they're saying it's over tax fraud allegations. So five different major banks inside of France were raided and shut down. And we saw this in the U.S. just a couple weeks ago. Multiple banks raided and shut down. They can do this at any moment. Go and shut down any number of banks, uh, federal government. And if there's no banks to compete with, they are now even sending criminal investigators after certain banks. We're going to get after all this stuff in the U.S., they are trying to take down the banks. And I'm not even a big fan here of the banks. The banks are the ones on top that try to fund these wars, fund these politicians, and pull the strings on top and fund both parties and manipulate us through both sides. That's what the banks like to do. But now the government is fighting back, clamping down on the banks because they want to control the monetary system completely and be able to track and trace us directly through surveillance. And that way the government itself could lock people out 
of transactions and out of buying and selling goods, all right? Even companies all over the country are implementing palm scanning. I've been talking about Amazon, but now even Panera Bread has palm scanning as well through Amazon's technology. They are getting these palm scanning kiosks all over the country and they are going to spread. And this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Think of all these things that are in the pipeline. They want to put brain chips inside of your brain. Okay. They already have neuro weapons and frequency weapons like Havana syndrome. Think of what's coming next. They can already essentially read people's minds through the electric uh, frequencies that are admitted through your brain. When they have you under a brain scan or they're reading your brain, they can essentially read your mind. This is what's coming in the future is the government controlling every aspect of banking and you will be blocked out and your mind will be read to decide if you can have banking. All right. You will be all, all these things. I know this sounds crazy, but this is what they're heading towards. This is why they want to put a chip in your brain so you can't even hide it. You can't even be like, oh yeah, this is great. I'm this is amazing. No, they will know exactly what you think and how you feel. And if it's not what they approve of, they will lock you out of these systems. I know this sounds crazy, but this technology is real. They're already working on it. And the whatever is public is always decades behind what the military and DARPA and the military industrial complex has. It's always decades behind. They already have this technology and they're already using it on the public and they want to use it in a way that they can stop us from banking as well. If we do not, if we're not brainwashed sleeves, all right? So you can even see here that five different banks in France. So they're just going to keep raiding banks. They're going to keep knocking them offline because they want to take out all the banks. Even the big banks are getting hit. We'll get to that in just a second. JP Morgan is in big trouble. But let's get to this warning that Biden is giving us here. All right. You can see here that Biden says the banking crisis is, quote, not over yet. So we've been told that this is everything's under control. Everything's great for the past couple of weeks. But now Biden is saying that actually it's not. And it comes on the same same exact timeline that these reports come out as well. They are getting the green light to destroy the dollar. And this is happening right now. And now we're even getting a warning saying that he's saying that it's, quote, not over yet. When he was asked about taking executive action to address the matter, Biden said, quote, oh, no, it's not over yet. We're watching very closely. All right. So this banking collapse could happen at any moment and it could be quick. And we are in the cycle exactly for it to happen in accordance with history because these banksters they manipulate history they manipulate the economy the federal reserve all these global banks as well they manipulate all of the markets and they manipulate these boom and bust cycles that they put us into to trigger these financial collapse scenarios and every time the boom gets bigger the bust gets bigger it, it the wave gets bigger every single time and eventually the wave is going to become too big, too violent, too hard to contain, and we are going to have a banking collapse. And that is exactly what they're planning on. And now they're even priming us on mainstream news. Remember just a couple of weeks ago, they were like, everything's great. The dollar's amazing. The dollar's doing fine. The dollar's never been better. There's no banking collapse. Remember just a couple of weeks ago, and now two weeks later, they're saying, actually, there's a shift from the dollar. Actually, the dollar is going to collapse. It's not going to be the world reserve currency. It's going to be the BRICS currency. And they're even saying on CNN, America will face a reckoning like none before. So this is huge that this coordinated narrative is being pushed. And now even Biden is saying that it's not better. It's going to get a lot worse. And we need to prepare. And they are trying to take down the banks. All right. Look at what's happening with Jamie Dimon's CEO as well. All right, or I mean JP Morgan CEO as well, Jamie Dimon. They are even targeting JP Morgan, even the big banks are getting hit too. 
and they want them out of the way as well. All right, nobody's safe from this. They they just want to use the big banks to absorb all of the little banks, and that's what's been happening in the past few weeks. These big banks have been bailing them out, absorbing them essentially, and now they want to take out the big banks as well because they want people banking directly with the federal government. And I don't approve of any of this. I'm not a fan of any of this. This is a whole other story I don't even want to get into. All right, I don't even want to keep that on there too much because I can't really talk about that on here. But you saw what's happening. And they that's, that's why that whole thing exists so they can use it against people when they need it to. That's why it was there the whole time. That's why they allowed JP Morgan to use it the whole time and all this. So when the time comes, they can clamp down and say, hey, there's this is bad. Everyone knows this is bad and you need to shut down. All right. So just look out. They're trying to collapse the big banks, too. And this is what we can see in America. This is happening in Pakistan right now. And this is from the collapse of their currency they're having exploding inflation they're having energy shortages food shortages and flooding and this is the result people looting just a flour truck right a truck carrying flour and people are stopping it and looting it because they are so desperate for food and because their economy has collapsed and this is what they want to implement here they want massive bread lines. We already have massive food lines at food banks inside the United States right now. This is happening. We have people lined up. And because they've printed all this money, caused massive inflation, they've increased the price of food, right? Food has been massively inflated. It's been one of the hardest hit things because a lot of their inputs are at the root of the supply chain and has been affected the past few years from all these events and food has been massively inflated and now the average person it's hard for them to even afford food they've given everyone a bunch of benefits to help afford it all right through the past few years there's been increased snap ebt benefits that's inflated food even more and then they've taken away the benefits they just ended all of the food benefits as well for people all the emergency benefits all this stuff all the extra stuff that people were getting for their ebt and snap now they're not even getting that all that's been ended and now food is double triple the price than it was just a few years ago so they were helping us they were acting like they were helping us by giving us all this money and all this inflation and then they everything gets taken away and now food is two to three times more expensive and now nobody can afford it and even even cooking at home it's just as expensive as eating out at this point and eating out is astronomical all right so this is all on purpose this is a collapse of our food supply the collapse of our economy the collapse of our banking systems and there are groups that want to see america look like this all right look like a disaster area and have people so desperate that they're looting trucks just for flour just to have flour to bake with and this is what's coming to the u.s and these are all psychological operations these are all coordinated efforts that's why i wanted to bring up how these are all happening at the same time these messages are all being sent out this these banks are all being raided and the u.s are being raided this is a coordinated event this is happening i don't even want to get into that too much all right but all this stuff's happening because these are psychological operations do you remember i made a video on this a few months ago this was last year probably like october november something like that and the u.s military put out this video you can you can find it on youtube and the u.s military the u.s army actually a they put out this video and it's called ghosts in the machine all right and it's telling us what they're doing and they're essentially admitting that they run psychological operations all the time in our government and the media everywhere and that's why we are seeing all of these crises happen at the same time because there are groups coordinating 
these events and they even admit it and they brag about it, right? And this is happening everywhere. The skies are being poisoned. The food is being poisoned. The water is being poisoned. We are being exposed to electromagnetic frequencies that are poisoning us and are manipulating us all throughout our house, all throughout our lives, everywhere. These things are affecting us. And also social media is affecting us. They're giving us these messages all the time to psychologically prepare us for what's coming next. All right. So make sure you guys are getting prepared. Make sure you have coins, physical coins. Make sure you have silver coins, silver dollars, gold coins, all these different things will be extremely valuable. They have these gold back, these little thin gold dollars that you can acquire, all these different things, these alternative value sources are going to be important. Even cash itself will be important because we don't know what's going to happen. We really don't. We could see even a massive cyber attack or event like that. Remember all these glitches that have been happening to the banks as well and people haven't been able to get their deposits out and money has been disappearing in people's banks. We really don't know what's going to happen. So even cash itself could still be valuable and it's always good to have. And even right after it hits, it you will be able to trade with cash directly because they might not be able to communicate with the bank to see how much money's in your account, right? All these things could happen or your bank could just be shut down. There's a massive bank run on it. We, we don't know. We are living in this era and Biden is even warning that things are going to get worse. So thank you guys so much. Please hit that like. Please hit that sub. Please hit that bell if you want to get notified for all my videos. Thank you guys so much and I hope you have a big old blessed day.